Had to stop by the post office real quick, but we got everything. We're good to go. Goldie Hans back on daily duty. There's a weird vibration coming from the back. I think it might just be like a flat spot on the tire from sitting for pretty much six months. Uh, not doing it right now so it's probably not a flat spot actually uh, I don't know weird things happen to vehicles when they start to sit so I think I'm just gonna try to put some miles on it and see if it goes away if it doesn't then I'll start investigating I've also never been able to finish this tune I started to retune it and make a few changes and then I started having the problems unrelated but uh that's why there's a little bit of like uh, par throttle like transition issues and stuff like that. I'm just happy to be driving it again. All right, we're gonna get into it a little bit. Let's drop it down to third. Got that tow haul mode. I'm gonna wait until these cars pass. All right, we're just gonna do a 60 roll, see what we get up to real quick. I broke my drive shaft. No! No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I swear to God, if I just broke the tail housing off the transmission, I know the drive shaft is broke. <sighs> oh my god, dude. I'm scared to get out and look. I am scared to get out and look. God, I am so scared to get out and look. Oh, fuck. All right. What'd we do? Oh, yeah. But luckily, I'm 95% sure that that means the transmission's okay if it's still hanging in up there. I'm so glad it broke back here and not up there. Because... <laughs> Oh, man. You are fucking kidding me, dude. <laughs> what the hell? It was a fucking 60 roll, too. I thought I was going to be gentle on it. Fuck. 
So while I've just been sitting here for the past 15 minutes waiting for my dad to call me back in, let's optimistically call it 30 degree weather, I can't help but remember me saying just a little bit ago that I felt a vibration in the back. I think we found the source of that vibration. <laughs> uh, I couldn't crawl under the truck. Well, I probably could. I refused to crawl under the truck enough to see if the transmission or rear end are hurt yet. Uh, I saw where it dented the gas tank. I think the transmission's okay because I didn't see any trans fluid anywhere. Um, so I think the only thing in question is the rear end. I think the gas tank saved all the fuel lines, brake lines, things like that. Um, it's really just whether or not the like little uh, pinion cap, you know what I'm saying? It's whether or not that's okay. I'm not sure what would have caused it aside from it just being not strong enough because it wasn't the drive shaft that broke it was the u-joint and the u-joint was like a, a 1350 or whatever it should have been fairly beefy so i'm kind of wondering if like the u-joint straps that hold it in place i'm wondering if those backed out i guess we won't know until i get it back to my place and get the rear end up and uh pull it apart I do have another drive shaft for it. Uh, it's one that I got from Scott, actually, who I bought the caddy from and got the converter from the last video from. Man, that scared the brick out of me. I've never broke a drive shaft before, so that thing just sounded like a grenade going off. And I was like, <laughs> honestly, it's probably the best case scenario on things to break. I'm worried that when I was trying to uh, pull over and park, I put it in park and it didn't feel like it wanted to engage. I'm worried if like I sheared that uh, Like that park pin, you know, what I'm talking about you'd think I'd learned from Finnegan because he did the same thing in the El Camino in that autocross Should have just killed the ignition which I did end up doing but after Trying to put it in park, but he should be on the way soon. My windshield's starting to fog up a little bit So I'm gonna turn the camera off try to conserve my energy before I freeze to death and go full 127 hours, even though I'm not trapped. I'm starting to ramble. I'll see you guys in a minute. There's Big Papa coming to save the day. I got down here and I was looking at it. Cause like I said, I was thinking that those straps came off, but they're both still there. Oh, fuck, it's cold out, man. Oh, didn't like that. He is in a hurry. Gosh dang. All right, so I should pay attention to driving, so I'm going to uh, wait until we get back to my place, and we'll pick it up from there. See you guys in a second. Just got back to my place. Did I do is start pulling you sideways? Uh, ish. I was about to put in park. Idiot. Uh, just inside the door somewhere should be a 4x4. Four because four. Oh. if I let go of the brake, it will roll back. Well, this has been a fun day. Not at all what I was expecting to do. I was expecting to work on the RX-7 today, actually. That's why I went to get one of those boxes. One of those is from uh, Justin Baker, Dr. Differential. He sent me up a fuel pump and some other goodies. Yeah, right there's the other drive shaft I got for it that looks like we'll be throwing in it. <laughs> I think we're going to figure out how to push this thing into the garage and then uh, I'll probably go inside, warm up for a bit, and then we'll come back out here to freeze my tushy off and we'll get to work on the truck. All right. While I'm in here waiting to warm up, while I'm in here waiting to warm up because that cold really screwed up my hands. They're still pretty numb, actually. A little concerning. But while I'm in here waiting to warm up, Let's uh, have a little impromptu mail time. One of the boxes, I know most of what's in it. Uh, this top one from, I believe it's Grady. Um, I don't know what's in it. It's like an early Christmas present. Um, but I'm gonna open this one second because it is a surprise. This one is from my dear friend, Justin Baker down in Texas, who runs Dr. Differential and Speed Shop. He spent up, spent up, sent up some goodies for the RX-7. Uh, and just general goodies that he's been putting off for a while. 
Oh my god. Always cut towards yourself in a very dangerous and erratic motion. All right. This is the fuel pump that I'm going to be putting on the RX-7, a Bosch 044 pump. Oh, shit! I guess I should have seen that coming, huh? <laughs> uh, fucking idiot. Finally got the Dr. Diff banner up here. I forgot about this. This, <laughs> he was going to send up a while ago. I'm excited. This was going to be the first one I was going to hang up in the garage. And this next piece was for the RX-7, but it might end up going on the S10 now. Let's see, what part should I show you that will be the most exciting? Probably this. This is a meth injection kit. Normally I'll just use a spoon, and but for this, we've got a... Uh, Oh, oh, I think we're going to have to use it on the RX-7. James Brown meth. <laughs> Proceed with caution. Oh, and here's the controller for it. Right there. And the wiring and hoses and, and shit. I was going to say let me keep all this together, but I think I already lost a piece. Thank you, Justin. I, uh... My friends are way too nice to me. I'm sure you guys, like, have buddies that are just they're obviously the better friend and you're the piece of shit i'm the piece of shit in this case justin has done way more for me than i've done for him so if you guys are in like the texas area and want work done on anything he does ls and uh, he's getting into the hemi stuff he just released a joker cam for it go check that out uh dr differential and speed shop he's in i believe orange texas all right G Alley. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's try to play this one a little safe. We'll cut away from ourselves. Ourself, myself, me. I cut way me. Oh, I think we got another banner. All right. I knew I recognized the name. Freaking knew I recognized the name. It's Mr. Be Real. All right, Josh. I found these banners when I was out on patrol with the police of Norwalk. We ran across these abandoned on a fence out in the elements, and we knew we had to rescue them if they were going to survive. So with a surgical precision, you know, let me start over. Let's make this a little more dramatic. Josh, I found these banners when I was out on patrol with the banner police at Norwalk. We ran across these abandoned on a fence out in the elements, and we knew we had to rescue them if they were going to survive. So with surgical precision, we leapt into action from our, <laughs> from our borrowed golf cart. With the help of some rusty craftsman side cutters, we released them from their restraints. No cocktails were in any danger during the recovery. And now, with several safely rescued... Damn it, I keep reading it wrong. It's not you, it's me. And now, with several safely rescued banners in our custody, the dilemma was how to place them in deserving homes. After several rounds of RPS, it came down to a passionate game of dice. These banners were the lucky ones to cross the border. So I trust you are the one that will give them a good home. Enjoy. Mr. Be Real, I appreciate that. And I... I'm gonna hold off on looking at those. I'm gonna look at the rest of the, the shits in here. We got StopTech, NMCA, Muscle Car Nationals, NMCA Muscle Car Nationals, Comp Springs, usually see Comp, uh, comp Cams, Total Seal, VP Racing Fuels, um, Muscle Car Central, Hawk, Felpro, Calvert, that's one I haven't seen in a while. Flowmaster, Trick Flow, Comatech, uh, Flowtech, Flaming River, Melling, Race Part Solutions, uh, I think that's a Magnaflow one, MSD, MSD, Big N, Moroso, Summit, Tremec, or Tremec, uh, Bullet Racing Can, ah! Autometer. Dynomex, QA1, Speedway, and King Bearings. I have not seen a King Bearing sticker before. All right, let's open the banners up. All right, first up is guy. Ah, oh, NOS. 
You guys illuminate it upside down. That is badass. That is super badass. It's funny that I was just talking about banners a second ago, and then this box has a few of them in there. And, uh, quick side note, speaking of stealing banners, when I was at the Roadkill Knights event uh, back in August, I was this close to stealing a couple road Roadkill banners. Alright, what is this one? Uh, aerospace... I'm trying to read it up upside down. Aerospace Components Winner Circle. Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. That one's thick, too. That one will give you some fun. In Ooh. Ooh, she crunchy. I don't know which way this one goes. Oh, Brian Tooley. Hell yeah. That's badass. Can you guys see that? And just so he's not left out, let's open up Justin's. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. Anytime anyone ever sends anything in, I appreciate it so much. I'm really bad at receiving gifts because I'm not like good at being like, oh my god, thank you. But I do appreciate all of them. Uh, even if it's just a letter saying like, hey, I watch your videos, keep it up. I appreciate all of it. Uh, this is incredibly surreal to be just making shitty YouTube videos and to have people actually appreciate them. So, thank you. <sighs> Alright. We should probably go look at the truck now, huh?